Hi, this is Russell Turner from TeacherTrainingVideos.com. I'm a recommended trainer of Snagit from the uh, TechSmith organization. I'm going to just show you some of the advanced features in Snagit that I often see people not using. In other words, they've bought Snagit, but they don't realize that they can do these things. So let's have a quick look at some of the advanced features in Snagit 2019. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that Snagit has the ability to grab uh, an image from anywhere and then convert the text in that image into editable text. So this is often a big problem if you perhaps go to a website and you want to grab that text, but it's actually an image. Um, all you need to do is go to Snagit. Uh, in this case, you're going to click on grab text. We're doing image capture. I'm just going to grab here my menu system at the top of my website. And what that's going to do is that's at the moment, that's an image. But if we click on that and wait a few seconds, it's going to grab that text and convert it into editable text. Now, it won't do a perfect job of it. I will need to come through. But you can see now that that text has been out and I could just copy that. Uh, and share it somewhere. So this is going to be really useful if you're on a website or somewhere and you've got an image and there's some text in it and you actually want to take that text out and make use of it. So it's a really, really easy way to do it using Snagit. Now another image capture trick that you can do, and if we look at this uh, web page here, you'll notice that Oh, it's one of the pages off my website. It's it's it scrolls, and so often it's quite difficult to image capture a scrolling page. Now, if we go to snag it and we choose again image capture, and this time we're going to go to scrolling window, and we click on capture, and again just mark the area to make it dead clear. You'll notice if we just click here that we get these kind of buttons there at the bottom, and you see that it's automatically now scrolling right through that page. And I didn't touch anything. That was all done by um, Snagit. And now you can see suddenly it actually scrolled the whole page and image captured it. Again, can be really useful if you've got a document where there's two, you know, it's bigger than the size of the web page, or if it's a website and you want to give the image of the whole page, then you can do that by just choosing image capture and scrolling page. Now the next example I'm going to show you is like a, it's both a technique and a trick. Uh, we're jumping over now to video capture rather than image capture. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the webcam. So we're going to click here and make sure that the webcam is actually on. So that we've got both a webcam and a screen capture option. And I'm going to show you how you can combine the two together. Now what I've got here on the screen is a map of France. And if I clicked here, you'll see it then moves on to Spain and then it moves on to Italy. So basically I've got three images in a viewer in an image viewer and I've got ready with those. I'm now going to open up Camtasia and I'm going to mark out the area that I want to capture. So I'm going to just mark it around here because I know that one of the maps is a bit bigger. And first of all, you'll notice that I come onto the screen because what I'm going to do in this image capture, sorry, in this video capture is I'm going to start with an introduction from me and then follow that through with jumping to the screen capture. Apologies if the uh, camera isn't too focused. Uh, that's to do with the lighting and the other things that are going on. But basically, I could do the following. I could click on the button here, count myself in. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to show you uh, three maps of Europe and talk about the biggest cities in those three countries. Click on the stop button or the pause button. And I'm going to click here now and jump over to screen capture. And now I'm going to start the screen capture. So click. Here we've got France. Uh, the capital of France is Paris. Other big cities are Lyon and Marseille. If we then move on to the next country, Spain, uh, the Madrid is a very big uh, city in the center of Madrid uh, of Spain with about 4 million people. That's the capital. Another big city is Barcelona and also Valencia and Sevilla. I'm going to move on to the next country. And finally, Italy. Italy has a, many biggish cities, but the significant cities would be Milan and Rome. Stop the video. The video is made. Now, first of all, the, the video starts with with an introduction webcam. So in other words, it starts with me introducing and then jumping on to the actual product. So, all right, so first we get that and then we jump on now. That, that technique that I've used means that we've got both the first image talking about it. And then if we moved along to the next one, it would then talk about Spain and then, then finally. So that's a good technique of actually using the 
image viewer to jump from one image to the other. So you don't ever just simply can image capture one image, but also combining the use of webcam both at the beginning and you can even have it at the end. Often it's nice to introduce a video with a quick hello, just gonna talk about this and then begin. And you can certainly do that with Snagit. Now, what we've done here is we've actually done an image capture. And this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that you can actually combine images when you capture images. When you capture an image, you'll find that it's here in the tray at the bottom of the screen. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this one here. In fact, let's use this one here. And I'm gonna now drag this image into the other image. So I'm now combining two image captures together. And then I can, what I can do is obviously move it into the right position, resize it and putting it onto the screen. So a lot of people don't realize that you can actually work with more than one image when you're doing image capture. So if I wanted to repeat that and bring in something else that I've captured onto the screen, then again, I could just pull it up and drag it on. So you are able to combine images that you've image captured and they're in your editing uh, window and then you can bring them in and combine them together. So a really nice way of building a picture by combining different images. One thing that often happens to me is that let's say I'm working on a website or I'm building some educational material, I need to always image capture a certain size because I want all the pictures to be the same size. And I can actually do that really easily because I can come on to the image capture tool here, click on image, click on presets, and we're gonna just click on the plus button here. We're gonna add a new preset and we're gonna call that, well, we're, not, we're gonna choose to have a preset as an image and we're gonna have it as a region and we're gonna have the size to be fixed to 720, or let's say 1280 by 720. So I'm basically setting up everything so that it, every time I wanna use it, will always do exactly what I'm setting up here. I'm gonna click off there and also I'm gonna say, well, I also always want there to be a border. And then, well, how thick do I want the border to be? What color do I want it to be? Right, well, I'm gonna choose the color to have a black border and I'm gonna make it, let's just say three. Okay, again, clicking off there. Now I'm gonna save that preset and I'm gonna call that uh, image uh, two border and that's all done now okay so i've now got an image to border now why is that beneficial well let me just try and give you an example if i was to now uh go on to snag it and let's just close that down for a minute so we okay i would then open up my presets i would choose image to border but i would click on this button here and it doesn't matter where I click on the screen, as soon as I click now, you can see that it's perfectly gonna take a screen capture of 1280 wide, 72 down, and it's also gonna immediately add a border. So I'm just gonna click, in it comes, notice the border's automatically there, notice it's exactly the same size. Now, if I was to go back and imagine, let's go on to another page, and I've decided, oh yeah, I wanna image capture this page exactly the same size, again, I would just come back, go to my presets, choose that one I wanted, click on it, and immediately it opens up and it's ready. And it's saying, well, where do you want to do it? It's going to do everything I've asked it to do. So I'm going to say, right, I want you to do it here. Click once, and then again, exactly the right size with the border. Presets are really useful. They can save you a lot of time. Okay, I hope that video was useful, showing you how to work with Snagit. If you come to teachertrainingvideos.com, there's lots more content including a section here on Snagit, and there's a nice playlist of different aspects of Snagit. You can click on that, and in fact, you can jump to any of the different topics uh, that you might be interested in. Also, uh, on the website, two other things. You may like to sign up to my YouTube channel and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on the um, bell so that you are informed when new videos have been uploaded and you may like to sign up to the newsletter if you'd like to keep up with all the latest videos that I upload and also um, any online courses I'm running or any short webinars that I'm running and occasionally I even have special offers on software and thank you very much.